Hey gang, I just wanted to record a quick video today to just uh, showcase some of the improvements uh, or increased number of assets that you now have access to with Adobe Captivate 2019. If you take a look here, if we open up the assets window, you'll see of course there are some new ready to go slides that are available, specifically a project called Diverse. And obviously keep checking back for additional quick start projects as they come out. So really exciting to see that, uh, that Adobe is continuing to come out with new content. Because as we all know, content becomes old after a while, becomes stale. So great to see that they're continuing to put out new material. The other thing that's really exciting is that we've had basically the same cutout characters now for a number of different versions. And it looks like uh, Adobe's added a bunch of new characters. In fact, my estimation is they probably have an additional 10 or so. Keep scrolling down because of course, uh, if you just look at the initial first page worth of content, you'll see that you know there, there's only so much there. But as you scroll down on this page, you'll, you'll see it refresh and load additional characters. So we have uh, a greater selection of cutout characters that we can use. Another thing, um, I don't know if this is new, this may not be new, uh, but when I first looked here, when the new assets window was introduced in Captivate 2019, I didn't see that there were a lot of 360 degree assets, but it looks like there's quite a few here. So I don't know if these are new, but certainly uh, a much greater selection of uh, 360 degree images that you can add to your e-learning projects. The other thing that's uh, been uh, ramped up, of course, is the number of images available to you. And these are all included with your monthly Adobe Captivate subscription. Uh, so whatever you're paying for, for Captivate per month, these are all included here. And of course you can scroll through and it will load additional stuff that you can add. The one that I really liked was uh, there's some really cool little videos that you can add to your e-learning course. So you could, for example, take a, a short movie like this one here and maybe make that the title page of your, your new e-learning project here. I'll insert this image into this slide here. Now in this case, this video comes in and I can choose between event video or slide video. In this case, I wanted to play in sync with my project. So I'm gonna go with slide video here. Obviously it's a much larger video than my project is. So I'm just gonna to go to my position settings here and change those so that this fits on the slide. In fact, I'm gonna use my alignment toolbar, which is available from the window dropdown and make sure that that video is completely centered on the uh, page here. Let's uh, customize the background. So to give it more of a cinematic feel, I'll just make it a black background here. And, uh, you know, we could add the, uh, the title for our course to appear in obviously a very appropriate spot here. We've got a nice large open area. Let's change the color to black. And I'm gonna change the font to, you know, a nice large uh, Arial type font here. And we'll make sure that that appears for the rest of the slide. And of course we can, uh, we can totally customize that how we wish. I'm gonna go back into the assets window here and go into the audio section and see if we can find you know, a really cool audio track that would work well with this particular particular video here. So I'll pop that audio into this slide and maybe right when the audio finishes, we can add a button to bring your learners to the next slide here. So let's pop in just an image, just a, a smart shape here. Maybe we'll make that button black and change the text to white and use that as a button. Maybe have it display for the rest of the slide and perhaps have it uh, fade in as well. We'll have it fade in for one second. So let's preview this and see how we've utilized the new assets 
that are available to you in the uh, assets window. So we'll do an HTML5 preview. That's very cool. So you can see that uh, it creates a really cool effect with both uh, video and some sound and uh, it, it was really easy to do. And of course, you know, it didn't cost me anything to uh, use these assets that were available with Adobe Captivate. So check out the new assets and think about how you can be very creative and, and use them, combine them together and come up with some really cool stuff. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.